Hey bosses, it's Nina. So um, I keep on getting the question of how am I recording my iPhone screen and posting videos on YouTube. I do it a couple ways, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way um, because I do have to record a video for um, how to do something on Facebook on my phone. So I thought I'd just take you guys along. So join me as I show you how I do it. So first of all, I use this app called Reflector. You'll see it on the screen. You do have to connect it to your computer. The app is $14.99 and it's actually the best one that I've found out there. It's still a little buggy, but for the most part, it's super duper easy. I'll leave the link to purchase in the description below. So the first thing you have to do is connect. There's a couple different ways to connect. The easiest way for me is I basically um, just turn on my, here it goes. I'm turning on my Wi-Fi and I'm on my phone right now. So on my phone, I'm turning on my Wi-Fi and I'm waiting so I can connect um, so it can show me mirror mode. And if I can, what I'll do is I'll record so you guys can see it. So I'll plug that in here. Um, but anyways, I just look for what it says here, my desktop. So this is my desktop name. Oops, this is my desktop name. So I'm just looking for that on my phone. So I'm gonna click on it and it connects. Okay, so you guys can see, and actually now you can see, I just, when I turned on my, um, when I turned on my Wi-Fi, it has all of the nearby items that I can connect to. The last one is my Apple TV. But um, this is my computer. I just clicked on here and it connected my screen. And so now you can see um, my screen up here. Okay, so at this point, um, there's two ways that you can do it. You can either click on the record button at the top right-hand corner or left-hand corner of the iPhone that you see on the screen, or you can record your actual screen, which is what I'm doing now. Um, the buggy way that I found was clicking the record button in the top left-hand corner. Um, like I said, it doesn't happen as much now because uh, they've done a couple of upgrades. So I hope they're done with that. But what would happen is I would click on record and I would go to save my video and it would crash. So for me, I would just use the screen recorder. I'm using Camtasia. You could also use Screenomatic or whatever it is that you use on Mac machines. Um, but you could just use their screen recorder and um, record your screen. Um, what I like about this way is I can actually narrate what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So the easiest way is you're recording your screen, you're telling people what you um, want to do, and then it's less editing in the end. Okay, let me show you the second way. Okay, the second way that you can record your screen is that you can just actually record just this screen, right? Instead of me using a screencast or a screen recorder to re record my desktop, I actually can record, click the record button and it's gonna just have this frame. Most of my videos that you've seen lately have that and what I'll do is I'll just put them side by side to actually edit them. I hope that makes sense. If you look at my Instagram multiple pictures video, that's the best example of that. But basically what you're gonna do, and this is the part that's a little buggy for me, is you click on the record button and it saves it locally. But the thing with this is, um, is it would stop recording in the middle or I would lose it and I would record a whole entire video and it would stop. It hasn't happened lately, so I'm crossing my fingers that they fixed that with the updates. All right, let me show you how to do this. First, I set my options, so I'm gonna right click. You can either show frame or just have it be your screen. So if you don't want it to look like an iPhone, you just wanna show your screen, that's a great way to do that, right? Or you can show frame. Um, you can also pick your frame. So if you like the rose gold, which everyone loves, you can click on rose gold. The only thing is you can only see it on the outside. Now, one of the things is right now you could see my desktop background. I would not show my back background because it is a little, um, what's the word? It is um, distracting, sorry. Um, so what I would do, and just to show you, I'm gonna do display full screen. This to me is a lot, cleaner and then when I edit I can move this to the side and have another version of my screen over here so even if you have the iPhone um, like the rose gold you can see it a little bit better with the actual background so I'm gonna take this change this back to my black I'm actually gonna go to jet black take that off and again you can actually have um, you could choose your backgrounds and I'll show you where you can do that in a second 
scale. Um, you can keep it as the, at the default um, size. You can also fill the screen. To me, I haven't found a big difference in that. Um, so I would just um, leave that as default size. The other thing that you can do is make sure it's always on top. So if you have pop-ups and then display full screen, which you already saw. I am gonna show you one more thing um, in my right-hand corner down here. Uh, if I right-click on reflector, there are some settings. So I'm gonna click on this right here, the settings here. Go to preferences. And then go to, I can't remember if it's connection, connection. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to um, select the right size for you. They have different sizes. I always go with the recommendation, but um, if you have some problems with um, the way it looks, I would actually change that. Um, like, so if it's not clean enough or it's not, you're not getting the effect that you want. I'm gonna go down to the background, full screen background. So remember that black background that you saw, you can actually change the color there. I choose black because the way I edit it just makes more sense. Um, or you can choose your desktop as the background. Um, it's up to you. Okay, so that's enough for the options. Let's actually move on. So we're not spending too much time on that. I'm gonna click on the record button and I'm going to do the same video I just did. Okay. So here I just clicked on record and I basically just went to town and it shows my in um, just my screen. And even though I see my background right now, eventually when I save it, I will see um, just the black background. Okay, now that I've recorded my video, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna save it. This is the part that I didn't always, uh, it just wasn't always happening for me. So I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna call it reflector recording, that's fine, or I can do desktop site. Okay, so I'm gonna save it. And there you go. Now I have that video saved and I would open Camtasia or open, um, what's the other one that I use? I had a video on it. I would either open Camtasia or um, the other, oh, Wondershare, Filmora, Wondershare, and I would edit it. Sometimes I would put it side by side so you can see both videos and zoom in. If you guys want me to record a video on how I edit it, let me know in the comments below. Um, if not, just let me know what you thought of this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know. Don't forget to watch any of my other awesome videos. I love that you guys are supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ciao.